Hi, excuse me. Can I interview for my YouTube channel? My YouTube? My YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. I can interview you? It's about your feet and mental health. Okay. Okay? Can we sit on the grass? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Why would you ask that? Yeah. Are you foot fetish? I'm not specifically a foot fetish, but I'm sure a lot of my subscribers, maybe, because uh, what I do is I teach um, photographers, foot photographers, and other guys how to get over anxiety and telling women that they like feet. So basically, if uh, it helps a guy reveal to a woman that he likes feet in that manner, then yeah, that's what it's for. Is that cool? All right, let me see. Have you? Let me see. I have a YouTube channel too. Just tag me in. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you do? Comedy. Comedy? Yeah. All right, let me see. This is a good bad truck right here. <sighs> Can you have a seat? It's for me. All right. Let me know when you're ready. All right, so how do we get to this moment just now? Well, we're just coming from yoga. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I thought I was going to get mugged. <laughs> you thought you were going to get mugged for real? No. <laughs> no? Okay. Okay. So what did I stop you for? Uh, you asked me if you could interview me for your YouTube channel uh -huh. about feet and something. Mental health. <laughs> Mental health. Exactly. I don't necessarily see the correlation, but okay. Aha! I'll explain to you the correlation in a minute. So your first reaction was like whether I had a foot fetish, right? right. Why was that the first thing that came to your mind? Because a lot of guys have foot fetishes and you said it was about feet. Okay. Because I made a video on my channel making fun of it and then yeah. got tons of hits. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how do you feel? Do you have pretty feet? Do you think you're pretty feet? Yeah, I have pretty feet. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. She showed us her. You're getting ahead of myself right now, but <laughs> how do you feel about guys that like women's feet? It doesn't bug me at all. It doesn't bug you? Really? It feels good. Okay. So how did you get to that point in your life where you felt like you're open about that type of thing? Play. Someone did it, and you discover, oh, that feels nice. Okay. So I, th I say probably half of men like to suck your toes. Really? Okay. But some men want to fuck you. Yeah. Yes, that is true. That is true. So um, let me show you the correlations that you asked. So do you have a therapist by any chance? No. Okay. So my therapist taught me dialectical behavioral therapy, DBT. What is it called? Dialectual? Dialectical. Dialectical. Behavioral therapy, DBT. So let's say someone has, um, they suffer from anxiety, like a fear of approaching strangers. DBT will advise you to go out and put yourself in a situation where you're going to have to uh, meet a stranger. Oh, yeah. Same thing they do with agoraphobia. They make them go out. Yeah. yeah. It's like exposure Immersion. therapy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you do a self-assessment and you ask yourself, okay, in this situation, what am I feeling right now? Is there a threat to my health or a threat to my safety? You know, does my uncomfortable feelings fit the facts of the situation? Right. Like live in the now. Right exactly, now? yeah. You're supposed to apply mindfulness. Mm -hmm. And um, if there's not, then you act opposite to those uncomfortable feelings and you engage, like you said, immerse yourself in the situation. And then after every event, you um, keep a diary, knowing yourself, okay, was I mindful in this situation? Did I let go of my worries? Was it a pleasurable experience? And you just keep documents of it. So my application of DBT is through video. That's what the YouTube is about. And as I explained to you, like, there are guys out there who like women's feet, but they're kind of like uncomfortable or afraid of telling women that. Mm -hmm. So I interview women to get a whole wide range of perceptions and perspectives so guys can see ahead of time, like, you know, how women react to it. Mm -hmm. Some women are open to it. Some women are close to it. So they can, like, you know, acclimate themselves to different behaviors. I would say most women are probably fine with it. It's not a big deal. It's not like, you know, you're asking them to do anything strange. It's just mm -hmm. feet. You'd be surprised. Well, that's You'd be surprised. They they're not comfortable with their own self. The girl that's all... Oh my God, my feet. You know? Yeah, yeah. Why do you think women are like that? Those women. Uh, society, slut shaming, religion, slut shaming, your parents, slut shaming. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, don't. So that's always in the back of their mind. So all they can do is maybe missionary style, or you know, what I mean, they don't go outside this little box. Right. And, and it, yeah, it's all societal, religion, and parents. Okay. You. And so you know, as a woman, you're like, oh, I'm not supposed to do this. And yeah. It's just so silly. It's just feet. Right. You know. Right. So. You've always been that way, or did something happen that got you to that way where you're like more open? I've always, from, from the time I could talk, uh -huh. I've been uh, always, that, 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 like my first word was son of a bitch. Really? Son of a bitch, I said. It <laughs> went downhill from there. So I've always been very, you know, I, 
I'm not sure I'm not ashamed of myself. I, I love myself. Um, I, yeah, I've always just been really, um, you know, an extrovert. Yeah. Like and you have to think, like, this, like you're saying, is what I'm saying practical? Is this really anything wrong with my feet? Is yeah. He likes my feet or I like feet? I, like I said, I'd say half guys that I've met really, not necessarily have a fetish, mm -hmm. but they like feet. Well, and I'd say, actually, all men, I think, like feet as long as you have pretty feet. Now, yeah. Fungi toe, and all yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, fungi toe or funky stuff like that. Right. But as long as you have nice feet, guys appreciate that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So can we see your feet close up? <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> yeah. What's so weird about it? That I'm letting a complete stranger touch my right. feet. If your if your followers want to follow me, I have a YouTube channel under Elaine. Elaine. L A I N E space Laney L A N I E space Lane L A N E. And I also have like Patreon and stuff like that. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. What do your feet smell like? You want to smell them? Yeah, I do. come out with a 20 if you want to smell my feet. Really? Yeah. Even if I take you to get a, a, a pedicure? You said it's going to be later. I don't even know if you'll come through. Go on my YouTube channel. I, I do come through. I take all the ladies that who accept it to get pedicures for helping me. I don't lick them. Don't lick them? Why not? They'll cost you 100 <laughs> This woman is a capitalist. Take a video of me smelling you. Okay, let's see. These are very small, dainty, cute feet. Don't lick it. <laughs> okay, so. It just smells your feet. Why'd you let me do that? It didn't hurt anything. Okay. So, uh, what about licking your feet? No, that's crossing. That's too intimate. That's too intimate? Why is that too intimate? It just is. It it's is? Like, kissing, like, like if you're saying, can I give you a hug? Okay. But you say, can I give you a kiss? You go, no, that's too intimate. Okay. okay. What about for like OnlyFans? Then you're getting paid for it. Okay. Yeah. All right, so wrapping things up, what did you think about this experience? Uh, like I said, it's very impromptu. It's weird, but mm -hmm. it is what it is. Okay. All right. Was it a pleasurable experience? Mm -hmm. it, it, I'm neutral. You're neutral? Yeah, it didn't get me off or anything like that. Because, okay. You know, it's my feet. Right. So. Is there anything about the interview that could have been better? Do you have any recommendations, suggestions, critiques? Um, no. No? All right. Well, make sure all your followers. How many followers do you have? Thirty-eight thousand. Thirty-eight thousand. Make sure you follow me, so then when I have my foot fetish page, I'll let you guys know. There you go. <laughs> all right. Any parting words? Uh, sorry, I didn't fix my hair or wear any makeup today. You just happened to catch me coming straight out of the shower. My hair was wet and dried in the sun for them. So yeah. I no. look better on my channel. No worries. All right then. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So how do we get to this moment just now? I had the most random day. You're not going to believe my story. Really? I hate my job. I work an admin job. I live around an hour away from here. Uh -huh. Today I woke up. I got to work. I parked outside my office. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. Really? I just can't. So I called in sick. And I was like, what do I do? Where do I go? And I typed in. I typed nearest beach to me or near me uh -huh. on my phone and I randomly got to this place there was a yoga class happening I happened to have a yoga mat in my car um, I don't know I think it was just like something inside of me telling me do something for you and I haven't felt this happen in a long time I haven't really had, I work a 10 to 6 p.m. shift uh -huh. all day so I don't get to experience the sun I haven't had a summer day, you know, other than my, you know, days off. Uh-huh. So. Well, I'm happy for you that you're That's, able to... Yeah, so I'm not <laughs> from the area. Okay, what type of work do you do? Um, so I do intake, I'm an intake coordinator at a clinic that okay. offers speech therapy for children. Okay, so you're indoors, in the office. I'm indoors, I don't even have a window. Oh, wow. So. Uh, I'm happy for you. I'm glad you found this area. Cause... Yeah. So why are you and I here right now? How did we get to this moment, you and I? Um, well, I came here, I walked to the beach, and I decided to come back to the yoga place, mm -hmm. and, you know, sit under a tree, and just have a moment, like a quiet moment, yeah, like stress-free, mm -hmm. and then you roll by and ask me if I wanted to do this interview, and I said, yeah. sure, why Okay, not? why'd you say yes? Um, I said yes because I think it's, it's important to have like a connection to other people. Mm -hmm. I'm a very social person. Okay. Um, I like meeting new people and talking to people. Okay. Well, excellent. How do you feel about the subject matter? 
Um, I feel that it's one that needs a lot of attention, especially, um, you know, these days, this, this year, you mm-hmm. know, with everything that has happened and everything that it is yet to come. Okay. Um, I'm happy that more people are opening a discussion in regards to mental health. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's also important that we acknowledge, like, our own mental health and take care of it. Just like me today, I knew that I was going to have a bad day at work, so mm-hmm. I, I thought to myself, I should take care of me. Very good. How do you feel about the feet aspect of it? The what? Feet. The feet? Mm-hmm. Um, my feet are gross. You think your feet are gross? Why? <laughs> I don't like them. Why don't you like your feet? Um, I don't know. I just don't. Like, I don't think they're pretty. I think, um, I don't know. I think it's weird. Have you ever been complimented? On my feet? Yeah. Uh, no. No? No. How often do you like show your feet? Like wear uh, open toe shoes? Um, I would say once in a like big while. Like I had to be at the beach or for some reason for me to take off my shoes. Okay. Yeah. Um, how often do you get like pedicures? Never. Never? Why? Again, I don't like my feet. So you I don't just don't like people, your feet? Really? I don't like people touching them or looking at them. Really? Why? Where'd that come from? Um, I think it's because I. I'm not size 6 mm-hmm. and so like people always tell me oh my god you have such small feet oh my god you have such small feet mm-hmm. I also lived in Yosemite and I did a lot of like rock climbing and hiking so my feet got really gnarly I was there for 2 years mm-hmm. so then like, when I came back to the city I was like okay close shoes like I'm not sure really okay alright so hmm so people saying that you have small feet left a positive or negative impact on you I would say negative. Really? Why is that? Um, because it just made me so like self-conscious mm-hmm. of them. The same with my hands. Really? People tell me I have really small hands. I play guitar. And Men I, or women? Um, mostly women. Okay. Yeah. Because men tend to like women with small feet. Like small dainty feet or small dainty hands. Is that true? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I well, heard of that Well, you know now, yeah. <laughs> now I know. Okay, so let me tell you how my YouTube channel got started. Okay. So. Do you have a therapist? No. Okay. Are you familiar with dialectical behavioral therapy, DBT? Yes. You are? Yeah. Okay. So my therapist taught me that. And when she taught me, like, with, let's say someone's suffering from anxiety or fear approaching strangers, DBT will advise you to go out and put yourself in a position where you're going to feel those uncomfortable feelings. And when you do, you do a self-assessment. In that situation, you ask yourself, okay, what's the worst that could happen? You know, is the situation life-threatening? Is there a threat to my health or safety? Essentially, does my feelings fit the facts of the situation? And if it doesn't, if there's no, like, you know, if there's no situation where it's going to be negative to you, then to act opposite to those negative feelings and to engage and to cope with the outcome. And then keep a diary of what happened. You ask yourself, was I mindful in this situation? did I let go of my worries? Was it a pleasurable experience? So you go back to your diary and see how far you've progressed. And so I decided to create a YouTube channel uh, uh, documenting my DBT, my application DBT through video. Now as it relates to feet, I, like other mini men, have an attraction to women's feet. We find them pretty, we find them beautiful, we like them. But some guys have like an aversion to telling women that because they feel like you know women might think it's weird or they'll get a negative reaction so what I do is I interview strangers women to see how you feel about your feet and how you feel about guys that like women's feet so they can get a whole wide range of perceptions and perspectives well I mean I don't think it's weird that mm-hmm. men like feet I mean to each their own yeah so, I mean I'd rather have men into feet than into like butts or something more like oh, yeah um why is feet not so weird for you? Um, well, because I don't show mine, so I just feel like they'll never look at mine. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm seeing your feet, and you have very pretty feet. Oh, I'm going to tell you that right you. now. Like, okay, as far as the tops is concerned, can you square up with me a little bit? Like, turn. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Now, you have a nice arch, it seems like. Uh, it looks like you have an Egyptian toes. What? Egyptian toes is where your uh, big toe is longer than the rest of your toes. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Can I touch your feet? Uh, no. No? Why not? Um, just safety. Reasons. Safety? Yeah. What's the safety reasons? The pandemic. Okay. What's about, what about the pandemic? Um, so, what I'm, what I'm 
what about it? Touching your feet would what? Yeah, so we just need to be safe and, you know. Oh, you think me touching your feet would uh, give you <laughs> COVID? Possibly. Possibly? Okay. Can we see your soles of your feet? Sure. Yeah, can you lay like straight like this? There you go. Very nice. You have cute feet. I don't know why you don't like your feet. That's interesting. I've met other women who like hate their feet, but I see them and they're like, and now you're drawing them back. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. It's just like an instinct. It's an instinct? It's like, I don't really like a lot of attention. Why is that? Okay, so what does not having a lot of attention or people not touching your feet, what does that do for you? Beneficial? How does that benefit you? Um, it just, it draws me back to a safe, to a safe place. Like, I feel more comfortable. Okay. Yeah. So. I guess if we, like, were friends, then I would be, yeah, you can touch them or, yeah, you can, you know, mm -hmm. take pictures of them or whatever, but. Because we're strangers? Because we're strangers. So what's the worst that could happen if a stranger were to touch your feet right now? Um, I mean, it's not about like something bad happening. It's just my preference. Mm -hmm. like, I would prefer not having a stranger touch them. It's not because something's going to happen. It's something mm -hmm. that's not going to happen. It's just simply what I want. Okay. Do you like foot massages? Um, I do like foot massages. Okay. So if I were to offer you a foot massage, even though you like foot massages, you wouldn't Probably. take me on it? No? no thank you. Okay. Interesting. Do you... So you don't get pedicures because you don't like attention to your feet. What if I were to take you to get a pedicure? Would you be open to that? Um, no. You wouldn't? No. Okay. I just, I feel like the same way, like, like I don't really wear makeup. I don't uh -huh. wear, like, nail polish or, like, makeup. Like, mm -hmm. you can tell I'm not wearing any makeup right now. Yeah. Um, I just... Okay. Very I'm not interesting. That, I'm not that type of girl, I guess. Okay. Well, wrapping things up, what did you think about this interview and this experience? Um, it was definitely interesting. It got me thinking about a couple of things. Um, it was weird, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I it was weird. It weird. Was it pleasant? It was. It was? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any recommendations or critiques or refinements of how I could have made the uh, interview or the experience better? Um, sure. Maybe make sure that like wherever you're gonna interview like their levels of comfort mm -hmm. so like for example approaching someone saying like oh can I touch you just some a lot of people have you know anxiety or some you know phobias or fears so that might come off too strong mm -hmm. so I would say ease into into that question yeah so maybe it's just me maybe other women are just yeah sure give me a foot massage yeah 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 I mean I've get I've gotten I've I've done a lot with women's feet on my channel, but um, I try to like get women to like ask, to apply DBT with themselves as well. So like me asking if I could touch you, you know, and you saying no because that's out of your comfort zone. I try to see if the woman will be able to apply DBT in this instance on her own, you know. So that's one of the reasons why I do that to see how. But thank you, thank, thank you for you. your uh, your recommendations, your time and energy. Any parting words? I'm sorry. Any parting words? Any parting words? Yeah. Um, All right. Thank you very much. Good luck with you as well. Take care. <laughs> All right. So what just happened just now? How do we get to this moment? You asked to interview me about my feet. Yeah. And uh, why'd you say yes? Um, I don't. I mean, I don't have anywhere to be right now. Okay. I don't. I really don't mind. I guess. All right. How do you feel about the subject matter? Um, I'm personally like not into foot stuff. Mm -hmm. I guess. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't judge anyone who is. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Have you ever had any experience, prior experience? I haven't. With feet stuff? No. Okay, so no positive frame of reference. Have you had any negative experiences with feet stuff? No. No? Okay. So, um, okay. How often do you show your feet? Show my feet? Yeah. Like wear open-toed shoes, sandals? Um, not very Uh huh. And stuff, so okay. I like wear, like, or okay. That. Um, have you ever been complimented about your feet? No. No. How would you feel if a guy gave you a compliment? Um, I 
about your feet? Um, I, it would be, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know, I would be probably like a little weirded out. But weirded out? be that big of a deal. Why weirded out? Because I'm just not, like, I'm just not into feet. I don't like feet. I think they're kind of gross. What about your feet? Do you think they're pretty feet? I think they're just feet. Really? Yeah. Okay. What if a guy liked you so much that he wanted like to give you a foot massage, rub your feet, kiss your feet, smell your feet, lick your feet, and all those things? If he was the love of my life, I guess so, but I don't Okay. I don't know. Do you like foot massages? They're fine. They're fine? Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you had a foot massage before? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever had like a pedicure? Do you like go to pedicures? Yeah. Okay. So, how do you feel when you get pedicures? It just, I don't know, it's like self-care, I guess. Self-care? Yeah. Okay. So, let me tell you about the background of my YouTube channel okay. again. Do you have a therapist? Um, I did. You did? Okay. So, my therapist taught me uh, DBT, Dialectical Behavioral Therapy. Are you familiar? Yes. Okay. So, what she taught me with like, when it comes to like someone who's suffering from anxiety, mm -hmm. let's say you have a fear of approaching strangers, DBT will advise you to go out and to approach strangers, put yourself in that situation where you're gonna feel uncomfortable, and then you do a self-assessment, and you ask yourself, okay, what's the worst that could happen in this situation? Mm -hmm. Is there a threat to my life or a threat to my safety? Do my feelings fit the facts of the situation? And if they don't, then you apply what they call opposite action, and um, you imagine a positive outcome that's gonna happen, and you cope with whatever happens. Then you note in your diary, no, did I let go of my worries? Was I mindful? Was it pleasant experience? So you can go back and review it. So I decided to create a YouTube channel documenting my application of DBT through video. Okay? As it relates to feet, I'm a guy that's attracted to women's feet. Okay. And there are other guys that like women's feet as well, but there's some guys have like a hesitance to telling women that because they think right. they're going to get a negative reaction. Okay. So I interview different women so they can cope ahead and see how different women respond to it. To me telling women that, that I like feet. So what do you think about that? Um, that's that's cool. Good, like that's good for you. Uh -huh. Um, I think that if I, because like I said, like I don't, I don't like feet. I don't think of them sexually or romantically or mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, but what's the worst that can happen? I mean, can you imagine no, a positive? I, I just think like you know, I think a pedicure. I, I feel like that's different because it's not in like a romantic or sexual setting. Yeah. To me, and then. I mean, if a guy, um, you know, ap approached me or wanted something to do with my feet, I would probably, you know, politely decline. Mm -hmm. But again, there's no, like, I wouldn't say there's any real judgment there as long as everyone can just, like, respect each other's, yeah. you know, uh, preferences and boundaries. Okay. Let me ask you this. Can we see your feet close up? I'd rather not. You'd rather not? Yeah. Why? Um, just, I, just kinda, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't want to show this for free. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. What if I were to take you to get a pedicure? Um, I probably don't have time for that. Not but, today? Yeah. Well, Another day? not, like, ever. Ever? I'm okay. Pretty, yeah, I'm pretty busy, okay. So... I have to decline. You have to decline. Yeah. So you can't imagine a positive outcome? And showing your feet? It's not... I could. I just don't think that I want to. Okay. I guess. I, I got you. Yeah. All right. So, wrapping things up. What did you think about this interview and this experience? Um, interesting. I wasn't expecting to, to do this today. Okay. Um, and, yeah. I mean, I, res I respect it. Um, yeah. Uh, All right. Is there anything about the interview that could have been better? Do you have any recommendations, critiques, uh, no, refinements I, I should so. make? Okay. All right, any parting words? Uh, no, have fun, be safe out there. I don't know. All right, then. Thank you very much. Yep, Take you're care. Welcome. Okay, well, how did we get to this moment just now? Oh, I was just thinking of strangers approaching me asking about me standing or foot related things. So okay. Like, yeah, sure. Why not? So that's why you said so yesterday. I walked in someone's stomach. Let's do an interview. Okay. So, this is about essentially like feet and like guys that like women's feet and like how it's associated with mental health so do you have a therapist um i've had one at one point but okay I'm are you familiar with dbt dialectical oh. behavioral therapy uh -huh. yeah so my therapist taught me that yeah. and basically um as it relates to like anxiety someone suffering from like uh, the fear of approaching strangers 
what I learned is DBT is advises you like to go out and approach people, approach strangers, to put yourself in that position where you're going to feel uncomfortable. And then when you feel those feelings, you do a self-assessment and you ask yourself, okay, what's the worst that could happen out of this situation? Is there a threat to my life or a threat to my safety? Does this situation fit the facts of what I'm feeling? Okay. So if it doesn't, you apply what is called opposite action. And you act opposite to what those feelings want you to do. So if those feelings want you to withdraw back into your comfort zone, you act opposite to that and engage the person and to imagine a positive outcome that's going to happen out of it and to um, essentially uh, cope with the outcome. And then after every experience, you keep a diary of what happened. You ask yourself, okay, was I mindful in the moment? Did I live in the moment? Or did I think about future experiences or past experiences? Did I let go of my worries? Was it a pleasant experience? So you go back to your diary and you review it and see how far you've progressed. So as it relates to feet, I'm a guy that likes women's feet. And there are other guys that like women's feet as well. But some guys may anticipate a negative reaction when telling women that because of like, you know, stigmas or society and whatnot. So my application of DBT is through video. I record different stranger interactions and see how you feel about feet and how you feel about guys that like women's feet so guys can see these videos and be able to cope ahead and be able to you know um, acclimate the different behaviors and whatnot so that's the whole premise of the channel okay. what do you think about that um, if how I feel about feet or the whole just the concept and so of the YouTube of making people feel better about it or open to it just the whole concept of I mean I, I mean I definitely like the idea Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't like to do it. It's, I mean, if I have to, like in a work center, then I'll do it. Yeah. But in, if, I, if there's not money behind it, I won't do it. <laughs> okay. I like, I okay. But I don't, I don't mind one-on-one -on -one interactions. They don't bother me. Um, it's just fine. But, um, I mean, I could, I haven't, personally, how I feel about feet, I, it's, I don't have anything against them. Um, I know that that, like, works for some men. I mean, I'm not a guy, so I don't understand the experience. I haven't been, like, experienced rejection from it. Uh -huh. um, I know in my circle of, like, girlfriends, they don't, like, none of them have said to me that, like, ooh, he's, like, disgusting, he likes to be, like, that's never been a complaint or mm -hmm. a discussion. Um, so I'm not really sure. So, like, in media or, like, shame behind it, what would you say? Or, like, I guess, have you encountered that of, like, a girl who, like, yeah, I'm, I've interviewed lots of women who um, don't like their feet. Um, I just interviewed just a woman just now who, like, she doesn't like her feet. She doesn't like her feet being touched. Anything associated with feet she doesn't like. And um, I always try to find out why, you know, where does that come from? It was an experience that you've had. Like, was it a negative experience? And, you know, that requires, like, a lot of psychological evaluation that I really don't have time for. But, um... You know, I've interviewed a whole type of, like, I interviewed a woman earlier who's like, yeah, I like having my toes sucked, and she's open to it and everything, so, and the reason why she said some women like that is because the way they're brought up, you know, um, women sometimes are programmed to, like, no, 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 I don't want to do that, and stay in, like, a little closed-off box, if you, if you will, and some women are just open about it, but, um, as it relates to you, like, have you ever experienced... A guy who likes feet in your situation? I think it depends. Like, if you are intimate with your partner, uh -huh. then it's kind of like how I see it is like you just want to be as close to them as possible. Yeah. So it's just kind of like you are just, you know, like, I guess like when you're first like with someone or like, like you're learning their bodies and like all of that stuff is like exciting. So, I mean, I'm not anti. I mean, I'm not. It's not a deal breaker. For mm -hmm. me. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I feel like I mean, okay. I know it's not like something I need, but then again, um, everyone has different needs. So. Mm -hmm. So if a guy wanted to like give you a foot massage, rub your feet, smell your feet, kiss your feet, lick your feet, and all that, would you be open to it or closed off to it? Uh, I guess it would depend on what stage we're at in the relationship. Like, I don't know if that's like a like a first date move or something, but um, like. Currently, um, my boyfriend now likes to do that stuff, so I'm like, whatever, if that works for you, then that's fine, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm not like, you need to do it, but 
He likes it. I don't know. But I guess, I don't know. It's kind of funny, though. He's like, I'm not really a foot person, but I guess, like, the depends on who you're intimate with, I guess. Okay. I would say. But if there were past partners, there might be someone that would be like, yeah, I'm good. Okay. But I guess it depends on who it's coming from. And yeah. How close the bond is. When do you think it's appropriate time to let a woman know? That you're, like, in defeat? Yeah. Um, I mean, if it were me, I would definitely, not that it's, like, a huge thing, but just, like, with anything, I guess, like, ease into it. It's not, like, like, you know, like, when you're, like, kissing someone, you just don't, like, all of a sudden make out with them. It's just, like, you're, like, you know, like, I guess, like, there's, like, an introductory phase, I think, into it. So maybe, I guess, like, foot massages would work before, like, toast How long, do you think? Oh, but how long? Yeah. Can you give us, like, a time frame? What do you think about that? Well, that's when you know that she's comfortable, is what I'm saying. So okay. it depends on the woman. So when you can tell that she's shitting at your place, then you can suck on Does that help? For you, would you say? Could you put, like, a time on it? <laughs> when would I shit yeah. in a man's house? Um, well, I try to hide it, so I'm just going to be it. Um, <laughs> it depends on how much time we're spending together. Yeah. A month? Yeah. If I'm there like every day. Okay. Interesting. Very Why? interesting. Why you say interesting? Huh? Why did you say interesting? Oh, because I mean, for me personally, I would tell a woman right off the bat, like meeting her the first 10 minutes. That you're like, I might suck your feet? Yeah. But that's, I don't know. It's not like if you treat it like, like making out, you don't like say, like, I might stick my tongue in your mouth. You know? Why not? That's yeah, see, like the, organic. It needs to be treated as any like organic act, like hugging, like embracing. Okay. So, I would definitely. Does that help? Would it be helpful? Say I again. Like just saying nonsense. Like no, no, no. I'm just getting your perspective on oh, things. Okay. You know. Um, yeah, you are being helpful though, because um, I always like to see like, because a lot of women think like, you know, there has to be time and there has to be a relationship and. That's why I always try to like get like a definite answer from you, because sometimes it's abstract. Oh, there has to be. I have to feel comfortable. You know, there has to be a comfortable level of comfortability. Uh, well, it depends on the person, because some people, I guess, relationships aren't always so linear. Mm-hmm. You know, like some people will do certain things in relationships before they do other things. Yeah. So it depends on the person, and I guess obviously communication has to be is a big part. Okay. So, it's hard to gauge. Like, I mean, there are certain things that I would do in one relationship that I would never do in another. So, it depends on, it's always depending on who it's coming from and how that person is doing. Gotcha. Okay. Can we see what your feet look like? My feet? Yeah, close up. No yeah, shoes, no stuff. It's alright. Why is this part of the documentary? It's a part of the documentary. Yeah. Go on my YouTube channel. You'll see. It's called scouting sessions. Go for it. In trouble? Why would you get in trouble? Why would you think you would get in trouble? That's very interesting. Why does that thought come to mind? There goes the parrots. Scouting sessions. S C O U T. Nobody wants to see my feet on my channel. This is about women's feet. This is about feet. And feet this is about wow, women's wow. feet. You have to show your foot too. No, I'll no. do it. Foot for foot. 
That's not what this channel is about. On my YouTube channel? This is guys that like women's feet. So if you want to start a YouTube channel, there could be, but that's not my market. I know my market well. Nobody's interested. I know my market very well. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they don't. Yeah, you can read some comments. They don't. <laughs> I think you're stalling. You don't want to show your feet, do you? Keep your socks on. Keep your socks on for now. I just want to look at how they look like on the outside. Take both shoes off. You got two feet. Alright, so... So you got some long... How, what size shoe are you? Nine and a half. Nine and a half? Yes, they're big for my height. How tall are you? Five, five. Five, five, nine and a half. They're eight and a half, I'm sorry. Eight and a half? Yeah, I was going to show you so I'm not fucking... There you go. Okay. Eight and a half yeah. feet. And you look like you have Egyptian toes. Egyptian toes? Yeah. That's a thing? Yeah. Okay. Egyptian toes is where your big toe is longer than the rest of your toes. I have on one foot. Really? This one is, this one doesn't. So you have Greek toes as well? Let's see. And you put in the sunlight, perfect. <laughs> so cross your feet, cross your ankles I mean. Yeah, so this looks Egyptian. <laughs> I can't see the other one. Alright. How are you feeling right now? Uh, like you're examining my feet. I am. This is like any body part, like if you were doing this to my ears, I'd also cringe. Really? Look at my teeth this way, my eyebrows this way, anytime my body is like, well, okay. just analyzing and giving Can I touch your feet? This is part of your project? Yes! Oh God, you see my YouTube you channel. see your therapist and make sure this is a part of your healing. She didn't come up with this, I came up with this. She taught me DBT. I just Do came up with like this. like it by the way? Do I like what? Uh, DBT. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, uh, it's because of DBT, I have, my, I have my YouTube channel. Can I touch your feet? I just feel like that might be, I would put this on my live. You could say what you're doing. And say also what you, like, what your presence is. This say again? This is on my Finsta, so you can speak freely. Say again? This is on my Finsta, so you can speak freely. Finsta? What's that? My fake Instagram, I only have 20 followers on this. Okay, so I'm a YouTuber doing a YouTube interview with, what's your name? Sarah. With Sarah, examining her feet, and I'm asking her if I can touch her feet, and her answer is... We don't think so. We don't think so, and why is that? Because you won't show me your feet, and that's the, the whole point of this. My YouTube channel what, what is about women's feet. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. According to my analytics, I have 97% of men following me, and they follow me because they're interested in women's feet. If I were to show my feet, which is a man's feet, that would betray the, uh, I guess, Amen. integrity, I the integrity of my channel. There's only one person watching this. It all depends <laughs> on what she has to say. Just to touch your feet. Wow. He also said I have Egyptian feet, which I have no idea what that means, guys. Egyptian toes. Egyptian toes. Who is this? Someone I just met. Yeah, we don't know each other. Yeah, We're strangers. Check out my YouTube channel, Scouting he's Sessions. Like, he's plugging. Also, I have this bump on my foot. Do you know what type of battle that means? Or am I sick? Mm, a bump? <laughs> like yeah, a. It's a bone, though. Oh. He says that I need monetary compensation. You have OnlyFans? No! Why you say it like that? Because I don't. That would be, uh, let me see. When was the last time you had a pedicure? Uh, a month ago. Can I take you to get a pedicure? Oh man, for your show? Or just in For general? my YouTube, yeah. Did you go to my YouTube channel? I just Did you not it. see? You take people yes, to yes, 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 yes. Is part of your show? Yes, as compensation for your time and energy and as a way of saying thank you, but only to the ones that are cool. I am cool. Are you? No. <laughs> How do I stop doing this? How do I stop it? Okay. There's only one person. Okay? It was just to represent the 
So Sarah, can I touch your feet? What? How are you in trouble? For what? Uh, I just don't know if that's like a weird like relationship boundary thing. You can step on somebody, but yeah. be touching before. your feet. See, I only have 20 followers just to make you feel better. This is my fake account. Okay. I only have like people that I don't care about what they want to do. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, what's the worst that can happen to me touching your feet? Oh, because if someone were to pull up on him and ask to touch his feet, I would be so pissed. Why? Tight. Why? <laughs> Why? No one touches. Why? I don't like that. I also put that on your channel. You don't like... If another woman were to do the same thing, and I hate that I am this way, of like if someone were to, if roles were reversed, how would I feel? Mm-hmm. And I, I would hate that. That's why. Alright, uh, take your socks off. Let's see what these oh food look like. <laughs> Let's see what these feet look like, Bear. Say again? So, let's see what these feet look like without the socks. I think we're going to have to leave it to mystery. Really? You don't want to sh- Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Controlling? Just to be like on the same side. I hate that I'm considerate. Alright then. We well then, wrapping things up, what did you think about this experience in this interview? It was good. I, I mean, you were a good interviewer. I liked it. Um, things that would change, I'd probably be prepared to show my feet too to a stranger. If what? To a stranger, I did the same thing. It's not a big deal. Like, you get to my hands. Yeah, I'm looking at your hands right now. I do it when I go running because I always smudge this one. So that's interesting. You're, you're cool with showing your hands, know, Bear, but not your feet. But then if someone were to really look at it, and they, this is also from the grass, by the way. But I'm filming your hands right now. That's cool, but filming your feet is not cool. Yeah, that's a good argument for it. Some things are left to a mystery, I guess. Okay. Is there anything about the interview that could have been better? Do you have any recommendations? Um, Critiques? Good Um, questions. You explained yourself very well. Uh, I mean, probably if I were single, I'd show you just the whole respect thing. Okay. Any parting words? Um, Parting words for your audience. Um, Probably, um, I would just say, you would just like be yourself with your partner as best as you can, or your lover, whoever, and then that will improve your relationship. That's all anyone wants. All right. Thank you very much for your time and energy. Take care, Sarah. Bye.